Okay, we are here in Orm, Utah. Orm, Utah, <laughs> with Jessica, who just uh, just basically did some theta chamber treatment with our little one, Skylar, who is just a little over six months. And we just wanted to keep a, a journal for those of you who are uh, patrons. Um, we want to give you the best access to any type of energy healing work that we're doing there. And, and um, yeah, I'm just excited to interview my wife and just see how she, you know, how her experience was. So first question is, is how did you find out about the Theta Chamber? Theta Chamber. Okay. So I, those of you who don't know, I work for Solux. Um, it is a beautiful quantum wellness center there. You should check it out if you're ever in Utah. Um, we went there probably like two months ago and we just were like um, viewing the facility and everything like that and the owner Lauren Swenson the creator of the Theta Chamber um, he mentioned that this is one of the the amazing uh, things that they have there is the Theta Chamber so he's one that introduced it to us and we got to walk around and see each of the different things there's tons of different machines that all do tons of different things. I'm looking up this booklet, things in here that I haven't even seen in there yet that um, are just super cool. So there's lots of different ones that they can do. He also um, invented the hyperbaric chamber too, if any of you know about that, for like the PTSD, like veterans and things like that. Um, Basically for yeah. uh, people who have had shell shock, uh, trauma, uh, and also PTSD, uh, basically producing more oxygen to the brain and so that was something that I recommended clients uh, over encompass healing uh, if they were veterans and I would, I would lead them over there so so I didn't even know that that he invented that and uh, you know I'm just walking in there like as if I'm like oh you have these cool gadgets but he didn't realize that that gadget was his own so um, so tell me you know what are the what are the main reasons why you're like you know because this, this took a lot out of us I think like we're, we're trying to make a journey uh, over here we're not we just moved to st george but we just got back which is like four hours away from here <laughs> yeah and we, we did live like an hour and a half away at one point but yeah we moved a little we, bit further south so yeah it was quite the drive and the journey with our kid hauling kids with us and everything like that but what was your question so the question <laughs> is is uh we made the sacrifice because of what Lauren said that there's something that he said that really interested you kind of just like symptoms that you've been dealing with and and it's really like an honor that you're like being open and vocal like kind of you know why you're really looking into this type of treatment outside of emotion code body code yeah so there's a lot that I want to say about that let's see first um okay so the first thing that he mentioned was actually just about Skylar he saw who had a little baby and he was like cool you have a baby like if you do this before they're nine months and it needs to be before they're your baby's nine months i mean it, it'll be, they'll benefit after but it's like way more uh there's a bee um way more great results if you can do it before they're nine months old but he was just saying oh awesome you have a baby like you got to try this out like they're by the time they're two three like they're um gonna be way advanced like with the school stuff and some babies actually so he's going at six months old. He can't crawl right now. We should have him here. We'll do another interview later, but he can't crawl, can't walk at all. Um, he can roll. He rolls though, you know, as most babies do. But he was uh, saying that some babies actually can start walking <laughs> within a month. I don't know if I'm ready for that, but <laughs> that'll be good though. <laughs> so first we're like, cool, let's do it for Skylar. And then um, he mentioned that one of us would have to go in the chamber with him to hold, like just, you know, hold him while, while we're spinning. Um, and then somehow throughout dinner, right? He meant when we went to, Lauren took us to dinner and um, I don't know, did you bring it up, babe? Or did he bring, somehow he brought yes, it up? Yes, I, I brought it up. I said, um, you know, do you have anything? I think I said, do you have anything that helps out with like PTSD and things like that. And then that's when he brought up the machine. But, but maybe share your side of the story. Like, cause one thing is to mention like, you know, PTSD, but it could be, I mean, there's so many things that cause PTSD. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have the C PTSD, um, complex PTSD. Um, yes, it's, that's been hard to, to live with, um, for sure. I'll try to get emotional, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, the, um, 
whoa, the uh, body code. Sorry, babe. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, body code, emotion code. I was not going to get emotional. Um, it helped a lot, for sure. Clearing the heart wall clear, uh, helped a ton. A ton. I was actually able to get off of... Um, I was on, like, four medications for anxiety. Like, the highest legal dosage I was on. So, it was pretty intense. Um, I... So reversed a little bit so I I've been on that off and on like whenever I got whenever I got pregnant with my babies I stopped it but before I had Riker who is now seven I for a year and a half I could not get off of them like I couldn't get off of my medication it was it was really weird I was very I guess it's almost addicted to it like I was having like um what's that called withdrawals I was having like withdrawals yeah. for physical it. withdrawals yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, so then when I met you and you cleared my heart wall, um, I was able to get off from cold turkey, like within a week, like completely off. I didn't even have to like, I mean, I slowed down a little bit each day, but then it was just like done. I just didn't even need them anymore. Like it was really, really cool. And my triggers, I would say went away like 85, 90% until, um, we got married. It's a crap. <laughs> I want to cry again. Okay, babe, you're doing a great job. You're doing awesome. Um, you're doing great. They came back heavily. The triggers did. Sorry. Um, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. <laughs> Seriously, babe, just just just, just be yourself. You're you're just you're awesome. Yeah. So, anyways, they came back really heavily. Um, I had a really horrible first marriage, and just being married again, like you were you're Mr. Perfect, nothing wrong with you, but just marriage triggered me heavily. So back to the triggers. Sorry, wow. Um uh yeah, it's, it's been hard. So um but when Lauren was saying he mentioned to you actually when he found out that I had PTSD or C PTSD, I think he mentioned to you something like you can say it babe actually. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, I mean, you'd, you'd basically be like an, uh, a new person, um, almost like, a, yeah, just like a, a brand new person. Um, yeah, I and, think he said something like, you wouldn't, you, like, I mean, you wouldn't recognize he, her. He had this cutest smile on his face, and he just like, turned to you, and he was like, you're not going to recognize her when she's done with this treatment. Yeah. So, we're really excited. <laughs> yeah, so we made the, we made the sacrifice here. Um, I mean, if you look in the background, I mean, there are some beautiful things about the sacrifice. And we look, look at the foreground, which is just you. Yeah, at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I know. laughs> um, but anyway, so, okay, so that's great. Thank you for sharing that. Because, you know, a lot of people, you know, we, we, we do believe that, you know, you're att you attracting AO scan into your life. Uh, you knew it before. You said something like, because uh, she got a motion code, body code certified, but she was like, something else is coming. And I don't know what it is, but it has something to do with energy healing. And it's just, I was, it's going to be my thing. Yeah. And I just don't know what it is. And then literally it was like a month, couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, AO scan fell into your lap and the rest is history. So she had a, a feeling. I mean, my, my wife has premonitions, dreams, things like that. And, and they're really spot on. And, um, so I really feel like this is, um, just another chapter of like your, your growth, you know? And so, um, so, how was your first experience? Uh, were you nervous? What was what was going on with that? Um, I was really excited, but a little bit nervous too. Just, I think that's kind of normal. You don't really know what to expect, what you're going to be doing. Um, yeah, I was really excited. A little bit nervous though. And then, so Skylar and I got in there together. I wore these glasses. So I put on some glasses. Um, we'll post some photos of that later. But put on some glasses, and they put on some music. And I'm familiar with similar music when with the AO scan there's a section called inner voice the inner voice can detect over 2000 records over 2000 frequencies in your voice in just 10 seconds and then it depending on how you're feeling that day it picks up like the four most either suppressed emotions or the most like overused over overworking emotions so like if uh fear is one if that's kind of like your main one it's going to pick that up if it's anger it's going to pick up anger and then um 
there's some really cool binaural beats that um so i was listening to some that had inside of there are like healing frequencies that are specific to the things that i'm going through so for today and i got to choose three different ones so today um there was definitely some things for the ptsd trauma anxiety that i was listening to so it's beautiful music but then inside there there's like specific healing frequencies too so listening to those wearing the light light the light wave glasses that while my, my eyes had to be closed the whole time and it was like shooting lights like these really cool lights as we're spinning so like basically in the back of your eyelids right you're kind of seeing the light still because your eyes weren't open they weren't open they were closed but it was like bright enough that i could see flashes of lights and then patterns and stuff like that it was really cool and skylar was kind of fidgety for the first couple minutes but once once he kind of calmed down it was really peaceful he went he went right to the beef another beef he went right to sleep and yeah you just kind of feel like you're floating so we're spinning in a circle like really but you didn't you didn't really feel because no. and they did say that uh, if you're someone who does feel seasick it would go opposite right yeah. go opposite way or if you have if you're in the autism spectrum yeah also they recommend going the opposite direction yeah they so just went they just went the yeah, regular, direction. regular direction and yeah i didn't get sick at all yeah you, you can't even feel it though like you don't feel like you're spinning at all so that was a 30 minute treatment and then you also did something else um i forgot the name of it let me look it up real quick i did the theta chamber the other one was just to kind of lock it in okay so it's called rtms it's repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation do you want, do you want to show a picture of it real quick and i'll kind of zoom so that this up this is kind of what it looks like here the rtms okay and just um so basically it's saying that that is a form of brain stimulation used to treat certain neurological disorders that have not improved through traditional approaches so they have software that allows personalized treatment for these sessions it's painless i couldn't even feel a thing like i didn't even think it was turned on because it wasn't there was no noise nothing i couldn't feel a thing but then to make sure it was on they had some kind of a um some kind of like a little I don't even know what it was some like magnet or something that they could tell if it was on and the magnet was like moving a lot so yeah it was on um but yeah it, it looks like i guess it's basically like magnetically pulsing and stimulating different parts of your brain and i think it was working on something like was it working on depression what like you can so with, with the theta let's was, go back let's go back, to the, let's go back to the theta helps. chamber you chose certain theta symptoms chamber, you want to target right? yeah i already said those ones oh you it said okay anxiety um, PTSD trauma and I did uh, pain chronic pain I was in a horrible car accident years ago and chronic pain kind of keep comes and goes it's kind of like coming comes and goes for me so I did those three so yeah and so the last thing was this the... one was for depression was the only one closest to anxiety so I don't I don't suffer with depression um, when I was pregnant, I would say yes. I, I've never experienced depression before, except for my last trim trimester. I did get some of that, but I was fine after I delivered him. But, but. <laughs> and then you you did one more thing, the thing on your feet? Oh, yeah. It was, I don't know if that's on here. We told you guys we wanted to give you as much information but as it possible. It is a detox. It's like a heavy, oh, here we go. RF Energy Detox. Can we see the uh, picture real quick? Yeah, picture. <laughs> and it's basically like I don't know if we've done it before those ones you put your feet in yeah and then it has like it changes the color it's like that but this is all heat um, there was no water at all Quickly. They told you to drink creates, lots of water because it's almost like um, it's like a full body detox. Full body detox, right? Yep, it creates heat um, to clear all the meridians and energy points of the body. It clears all blocked energy. It helps improve your immune system. Creates healthy circulation of blood. Uh, stimulate stimulate energy from deep within the body and full body detoxing. So. Okay, awesome. That was day one. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for the update, and we will be updating you guys on the daily. Uh, let you guys know how she's feeling, what things she's noticed, um, and thank you one so much. One thing I will notice, or one thing I noticed with Skylar so far is he just keeps laughing. Like, he's just happy. He's, like, happy and laughing and, like, giggly. 
I'm like, what are you laughing at? Like, he doesn't giggle this often, like, throughout the day. If I'm tickling him or, like, talking to him silly, then he'll laugh. But he'll be in the back of the car just laughing. I'm like, <laughs> so that is one thing I've noticed so far. So We'll keep it um, there with him yeah. as well. Especially if he starts walking and I'm like, what is walking over there? That's going to be crazy. Okay, thank you so much. All right, we will we will give you guys we will keep you guys updated and look forward to more videos like this, if, especially if you're on the Patreon. If the, if I did post this on YouTube, this is just a sample video of the next 21 days of her journey to using the Theta Chamber and other holistic me methods for PTSD and and um, things like that. And so um, this was just a preview of it. Um, I won't be posting these all these videos on YouTube. They'll be hidden. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, then you can uh, get access to it for only $9 a month. So, uh, all right. Any last words? I think that's great. <laughs> yep. Thanks, guys. All right. Talk to you Bye. soon. Bye-bye.